my party. <laughs> no. Let's <laughs> go outside. Let's go outside. everyone oh my goodness this weather today is February 20th and we are in the great melt off it has been above 40 now for oh, the past two and a half three days and everything is melting I mean our roofs believe it it's hard to see because it's such a gray day but the snow's coming off the roofs it's days like today that I really wish our gutters were finished. Um, we're still waiting on gutters. The gutter guy kind of ghosted us. So we made another phone call today to see where they're at and if they could get out here because we are miserable. We are almost flooding in some parts. But the chickens, they're doing good. Just watered them, fed them, and collected eggs. They've recovered from our cold snap. Yeah, we were negative 30 for several days and below zero for several weeks. And their egg production definitely slowed down, but we're, we're back to about eight to 10 eggs a day. So mama hen is happy. All right, let's get inside and hopefully not fall when we go over to the house. <laughs> what are you doing? You're a happy girl. You came out to. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, where am I going to go? Oh. Oh, I'll give you some privacy. There we go. Hi. You're a happy girl. She's like, let me in. Let me in. Selfies! Zoom zooms!
Why throw it in the garbage when I can just throw it in the fire? Alright. Keeping the area clean. Right back in the fire where it goes. Love this Blaze King. It's been a great stove for us. And uh, this top-down fire starting method has been working out pretty cool. I kind of like it. It's a little, uh, little different, little different than conventional light the bottom and make it go up. It seems like it spreads out faster. And definitely lights easy. So that's what I do. Keep the door cracked for a little while until it gets really well established. And then uh, we'll shut her down. Warm this house up. Let's see, it's uh, six, can't quite see the time, 17. I think it's 68 degrees in the house right now. Check back in an hour. How you doing, Spirit? I'm good, boy. What? You want in the chicken coop? What? What are you doing? Why you want in there? It's not warm in there. What? What do you want? You want to go say hi? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, you just want chicken poop. You just want chicken poop, you dork. Hi, everyone. Rusty, we heard you. Those are fake eggs. Not real. Not real. And nope. There you go. Okay, Sophie. Come on, poop eater. Let's go. And she's off. <laughs> well, which way do you think? Uh, it's your... Baby. Okay, I don't know I the proper way? way. No, or cut, I go this cut way? across the ear. Cut across the ear? Oh, I, yeah. just, I just knocked a little crumb off. Oh, burnt piece. Mm, burnt, not like a burn in. Didn't have any flavor. It's through the ear, not across the ear. I thought you said across the ear. No, through. With the ear. With the ear. Oh, God, feel that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. That sounds so good. Mm. Oh my, that cut really well. Did it? Oh, it's squishy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I gotta work out with my thumb. All right, let's see. The reveal. Oh, look at that crumb. That, that, is, that, is that what you're supposed to look for? I mean, there are no huge air bubbles, but there's a lot of air bubbles or air pockets. I honestly don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, know what is a good crumb. You guys let us know. Well, look at that. Look at that squishy. Look at the squish. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> My wife made that. <laughs> I'm going to eat it. <laughs> if you know I'm a good bread knife, <laughs> Cutco's not cutting it. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the crust isn't that hard. It's just... It's the knife. It's, yeah, it's probably a knife. It needs a sharp the, the bottom of the bread is a little bit... Not crusty, but it's just a little different. It's not burnt. Not burnt. So I did these two loaves uh, yesterday and today, and we are gonna. I'm experimenting. The loaf that I baked tonight, I'm gonna taste test compared to one I'm gonna bake tomorrow morning, to see if the overnight in the fridge um, fermentation 
if that truly makes it more sour. They say the longer in the fridge, the more sour the bread. So we will have a comparison. But I'm really excited. I'm figuring out the sourdough thing. And um, I hope to share with you guys soon how I've been doing it. It's been working out. This is my fifth batch. And um, I'm really happy. Uh, but I need to go a little better. I sound horrible. This head cold has been horrible. But uh, I'm looking forward to feeling better. And then when I know that I've figured out this game of sourdough, I will share it with you all. So far, we're winning. That is nice and warm. That's really nice and warm. So it's been just over an hour now. It's just like 7.30 or something like that. And uh, when we started the fire, the house was about 68 degrees. And now, this big room, we're in the living room, we got the loft upstairs, or the mezzanine upstairs with a fireplace area and the big den, big volume room. We're now at 72 degrees in this huge room. So this fireplace has warmed the area up four degrees in an hour, hour and a half, hour and 15 or so. I think that's just awesome that we have the ability to do that with wood. Wood that we can get off of a property or source very close by. Um, basically free just costs a little bit of time to uh to get it and stack it and do all the stuff with it but this wood stove has really been kicking butt for us we sure do love it a lot it's also it's 14 degrees outside so it's not warm it's not as cold as it could be but it's 14 degrees outside so we're able to warm this house up four degrees in just about an hour with it being 14 degrees outside. And obviously it's dark, no sunshine. So the sun's not, not a factor right now. So in this big room, four degrees in an hour. Awesome. I just had the first bite. And I can't tell you how soft and how amazing it was. And I'm gonna film Gary as he takes a bite. This is a huge piece of bread, but it is so soft, spongy, but not wet. I mean, perfect. So let's catch his reaction. And I hope he's honest, but I, I think I nailed it. Mm -hmm. So exciting. It was, the reason why it's that thick because it was so difficult to cut because it's so soft. I mean, it, it was just, it was squishing in my hand. I couldn't get the knife through it to cut it because of how soft it was. I mean, it's just very pliable. <laughs> Is that a good word for bread? I don't know. <laughs> mm. Of course, the crust is a bit crunchy. A little bit crunchy at the bottom. But, mm. <laughs> that middle bread right there, it's as soft as Wonder Bread is. <laughs> Wonder Bread is so good. Mm. Some of the other loaves I've had, they were a little, uh, they, I wouldn't say tough. We called them gummy because it, maybe it wasn't quite cooked all the way or it was just higher moisture content or something, but it just felt gummy. This feels done and... Like you said, it's like white bread. It's so soft. Mm, it's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. What's for dinner? <laughs> a couple of leftovers. I had some noodles pasta sauce and then i had another little jar of pasta sauce leftover stuff so i kind of just combined them i think there's probably some moose meat in here um and i think there's a homemade it's a homemade pasta sauce that i made a little while back so it's a leftover night mm -hmm. with amazing bread all right
Oh my gosh! <laughs> Those look like nose. pretzel bites. Bites. <laughs> I made sourdough pretzel bites. Ah. Wow. Looks good. Everything bagel on this side, and those all everything bagel, and these are kosher salt. <laughs> Alexa, set timer for 12 minutes. Turn on your timer. <laughs> she did. Upstairs. All upstairs? Yeah. Alexa, how much time on my timer? <laughs> I didn't hear her. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's a thing called tong. No, I was just thinking about dumping it, but then all the seasoning, all the seasoning. <laughs> Actually, the seasoning didn't stick very well. Well, you know, we had some trolls that hated that you were touching food. Oh, shoot, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Always compensating for your left hand in the hand in It is a difficult time to look uh, difficult at some times to live in a right-handed world. Think about it. all your scissors and your can openers and quite a few things are made for right-handed people. I mean without really even thinking about it. It's just a, a tool made for a right-handed person. <laughs> and uh, we have to be better than that as left-handers and adapt and overcome and um, that's what makes us the superior species as a left-handed <laughs> person because um, we have to overcome the inadequacies of a right-handed world i think you're funny yep Truth. <laughs> uh, all right 12 11 minutes left so how are you enjoying your range so oh, yeah. we are in 2024, but right now on the channel, we just installed that range. So we've had it for a year, actually almost oh. to the day. Oh yeah, right, right, mid-February. Just passed it. Was, it, it was installed on February 25th, and what's today? Right there. February 26th? Well, you have a phone in your hand. Uh, 26, so a year and a day. One we year and one day. Six days right there. Um, no, that range has been awesome, amazing, fabulous. Um, it is a all gas, so a double oven. With double ovens are both propane, so propane fed ovens and gas tops with an electric skillet in the middle. Um, electric skillet. I've also got grates for that, so I can like like grill marks on burgers and such. But it's a great tool. Um, I've used the double ovens a lot. I've probably had five of the six burners going at one point. Um, I've used I've used the heck out of it, and it is amazing. It's definitely not overkill. No, I use it. Not no, with your cooking. No, I, I use it all. I use it all. Um, I've used both the ovens. I've used those two ovens and the steam oven over there at the same time. You know, I, we just we get to cooking big stuff and a lot of stuff at, at some time at the point. So. It's nice to have that. Um, the reason why I chose an all gas range, however, is because this has an element in the oven called an infrared broiler. And that infrared broiler gets up to what, 16, 1800 degrees, hot, super hot. So I can broil steaks in there in what, three minutes per side and they're done and probably some of the best restaurant quality steaks you've ever had. So that was one of the main reasons to get this oven, the, 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 the propane style. They do have it in an electric oven as well, but they don't have the broiler, the broiler that's capable of those temperatures. And that's what makes the steak the great steak. Um, another great thing about it, these, these burners are really awesome. You can turn them on, big star burners, that's kind of a cool selling detail, whatever it is, it, it, it does what it does. but. They have these extra low features. I turn the knob to extra low, 
and the gas burner will actually cycle on and off. And there's a there's a setting on the extra low. I mean, you can go from super low to super super low, and the gas cycles on and off. The burner cycles on and off. So in just a few seconds, you hear it click right back on, and that's not me turning it on. That's the oven or the burner turning itself back on. I have not on this range, but a range at the other house, nine mile. I have put a paper plate on top of this burner and melted chocolate chips and did not burn the plate. And the chocolate chips were silky smooth, just beautiful, great for strawberries. We should do that someday. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's a really cool, cool range. I mean, there's a lot of features with it. Um, the griddle right here, you can take this off. I got the grill grates in there. I go in there too. It's, it's absolutely cool. I'm waiting for that to go on again. It has bricks too. There's little briquettes in here. Yeah, there it goes. Oh. See, it lit all by itself. So there's little briquettes in here that catch the grease and all that. So they kind of hold some of that flavor in there like a, like a regular barbecue would. Um, you do have to clean it out a little bit more often because of that, but uh, that's not a big deal. And the um, griddle's fabulous. The griddle's great. Pancakes. Bake. Well, I don't know bacon. I do bacon either in the oven or on a smoker just because it's cleaner. Um, but yeah, eggs, pancakes, griddle stuff. I've done veggies, all sorts of stuff on there. So it's been a great range. Um, really, I've liked it. It's a bit of a mess right now because I've been doing bagel bites. <laughs> I drip some stuff down there, but that's okay. Right. It gets used and then it gets cleaned. Thanks for the update. You're welcome.
accidents happen. <laughs> Of course, you're still gonna eat it, right? Yep. <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> you can't win them all. It's still gonna be a good dinner. You never knew what happened. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever we post again. And lastly, we hope that you will join us here next time on Living Free Alaska.